Uh, I'm not sure if it was rushed, but it's just doesn't really uh, stick to, you know, the roots of Oddworld games. So, instead of, like, saving Mudokins and stuff, you just... This, this game is centered around one area from Abe's Odyssey, but... So, i give you guys a little heads up on what to expect. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Make sure my... Splits are ready to go. Alright. Alright, three, two, one, and let's go. Alright, so the first thing is, we got to feed Paramites, but uh, I don't want to, so we're just going to jump over them. Paramites are those little spider-looking things. And that's a slog. Pretty much everything in this game will kill you in one hit, so you don't want to get touched. Right there, I possessed what they call a slig. Sligs have guns, and they will uh, shoot you. They will shoot you dead. Uh, right there, I grabbed a rock. I'm going to need that to blow up a bomb that's over here. Mm, listen to that delicious music. Alright, can't get into that door yet because it says we need a password, so we're going to go find the password, which is just right up here. And let's listen to it. Beautiful. Usually the password is like six to seven, like, little audio clicks. But you don't have to listen to them, you can just cancel out the menu. Alright, so this is the Paramonian Temple, so we're going to see a lot of Paramites. And we're also going to see the first use of the glitch, right here. Oops. Trust me, it'll speak for itself when you see it. Pause. Unpause. Pause. Unpause. Ooh. Call that fart jumping. Every time I pause, the, uh, pause and unpause the game, it'll make the fart noise, so... Little password game right here. You're supposed to fight. You're supposed to like go find what the password is, but it never changes, so you can just use it. Um. So what happens when I do that glitch? So every time you pause the game during a jump animation, after you when you unpause it, Abe will jump again. But so doing that, we get extra height and jumps. But it also breaks the game in where we. Uh, can actually exit out the, the same door that we came through. Usually you have to get a password and go through a second door, but since that breaks, the glitch breaks the, the original door that we came in, we actually can just go through that door without having to like get the password. So right there, there was the password was right there, uh, but the only thing I did was light the flintlock so we can uh, be able to escape this entire area later on. A little bit more jumps over here to get past these guys. Good, good. You kind of want to land in between them so you don't get shot because they do take a they take a little bit of time to turn around and shoot you. This room is really hard if uh, you were doing this casually, but we're just gonna neutral jump through the glitch, pull the lever, and I do have to hoist and fall down. If I do jump off from that height, I will die. This room, it, like, what's really cool is all these rooms that I'm going through right now are actually in Abe's Odyssey. So if you ever do play that game, you'll actually realize how hard these rooms are. These rooms are incredibly difficult. But <laughs> I've never actually done them in the Game Boy version, because uh, why would I have to? Mm -hmm. Okay. We do the glitch right here, because we haven't done it yet, so we do that so we can actually glitch this door, so it'll open up. And we got a couple more rooms to go. This room has a lot of cool tricks. has a screen wrap. Uh, about to come up to these remote bombs. You shut them off by... Uh, tapping A whenever they stop blinking. Instead of backtracking, we're just gonna fart jump and screen wrap. Roll underneath this bat. Alright, that's that room. This room's pretty cool, so we're gonna do, we're gonna pause right here, not jump. You're gonna see Abe's uh, walk animation be a little funny. That's gonna glitch the door. And we'll fart jump past this guy. 
And then we're going to go ahead and do the fart jump over these guys. Because that one Paramite, he, uh, he likes to chase. And then right here, I'm going to jump over this little trap and fart jump. So a boulder doesn't hit my head. Alright, that's the Paramonian Temple. Next is the nest. It's just a, a long running segment where you're trying to get away from Paramites. So, gotta be really quick. Pretty, it's not right there, that wasn't like a frame perfect jump, but it's close. Right there, that slog was asleep. If I would have, um, oops. If I would have walked up there and tried to just not sneak and just try to jump up there, oh no, we're gonna have to take a death. That's fine. If I would have gone up there without sneaking, he would have immediately killed us. But you can see, like, this game, you make one little mistake, you're going to have to start over. It's really difficult. Um, I've actually only beaten this game with no deaths once, and that is in my record run. This game is incredibly difficult for its length. Also, like, what, when you see me jump right there like that small hop, to jump you press B. But to jump, like, forward, you have to press B and then hit, uh, whatever direction. So it's, like, one after the other. The controls are incredibly bad in this game. Alright, grab a piece of meat. And then we're gonna throw it down to these paramites so we can get through this door. Alright, we have, like, five or six more rooms and that's the game. This, like I said, this game is really short when you have this, <laughs> when you're able to do this glitch. So there'll be a lot of stuff that we'd have to do in this room, but the only thing we're going to do is just fart jump all the way over here and go to the next room. This room's a little fun. is pretty fun. So all we're trying to do is get to the very end now. Some rooms do still have passwords that we have to uh, get. Well, you would have to get, but since we do the, the jump glitch... Uh, we don't have to worry about getting them. Right here, you're going to just walk right off. What's funny is if you try to roll off that ledge, you actually will not be able to grab that ledge that I just grabbed onto. It only works if you uh, fall from it from a standing position. mine. All, was that, all that room was was trying to get a rock to blow up one mine. Alright, this room's uh, probably the most difficult. Oh, come on. Mm, gotta love it. There we go. So there's gonna be two paramites coming up. Right here. Gonna jump. Jump over this bomb. We have to make sure one of those paramites actually gets hit by a bomb, because that makes backtracking uh, pretty much near impossible. Throw three rocks, and that's going to open up the door. And there's going to be slugs down here, hopefully we don't get shot. Good, 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 good. The second one was in a good position. Right here we're going to sneak, and then we're going to have him get hit by that boulder, and then we're going to fart jump over the boulder and the paramite. These guys are asleep. Resident sleeper. Probably what everyone feels like right now. I know I'm really tired. Alright, wait for this guy. Hey, guess what guys? We have one room left, and that is the run. Okay, this room, oh, yeah, this room is incredibly buggy, so um, you cannot fart jump in this room. If you fart jump in this room, you can't beat the level, you can't uh, beat the this room. Um, for some reason, it will break the exit. There's that slog down there, and that's the, next to the, the exit that we need to go to. But if you fart jump, um, the exit won't take you to the end, it'll take you back into this room for some reason. We don't want that.
So, so far we're good, but um, sometimes the, that, uh, that tunnel can bug. So let's see what happens. Go the meat, and let's see where it takes us. And it did not bug, so that is going to be the run. I'm going to do one funny glitch right here. Look at the big funny man to the left. I'm going to jump into him, and time. So Abe made it to the very end of the Paramonian Temple, where in Abe's Odyssey he would get a scar on his hand. He would still need to visit Scrabanian Temple to get the other scar, then go back to Rupture Farms and save his Mudokan brothers. Uh, but for this game, he saved no one, and look at that smug face you get. We only died two times, that is that is way better than I expected. I am very happy that I actually got sub 10 minutes. Uh, I think record's like 8.16, uh, and that is with no deaths, but that's it, guys. Short and sweet. Um... Uh, all the rest of the Oddworld games, uh, a lot of fun to run. Uh, the Oddworld community is small, but um, we, we do have like a sm we have a small, thriving community, man.